we've got our pivot table on the top here and we've included our sales regions and our sales months and years on the top and the actual and plan in the values area. If we go right across, you can see all the months there, all the way across. Now it's pretty ugly looking and we're gonna do a better report here at the bottom by using the get pivot data formula. Now let's close the field list there. And what we've done here is we put in the months from January all the way through December here. We just type that in and we're gonna use that later in our formula. And in there, we've actually put in the months and by pressing control one, you can see that we've entered the MMM and that puts it in Jan. If we press in another M, it puts in the whole month. It doesn't really matter. We just wanna show that it is January, even though the actual date is the 1st of the 1st, 2014 and then the 1st of the 2nd, 2014, and so on. And we're gonna use these to determine whether our actual month is an actual or a planned month based on the end of month date. So let's go into the end of month date, and in there we're gonna put in a formula called end of month and today. So press plus, end of month, and then the start date, we just put in there another formula which says today, and close brackets, comma, and the month, we don't want any forward months, we just want today's month. So today's end of month is the 31st or the 5th, 2014. We know that because if we go here, today's the 21st or the 5th, 2014. So the end of month is going to be the 31st of May. Now in here, we're going to put actual or plan based on what today's date is. So if today is less than the end of month date, then it's actual. If it's not, then it's planned. So in here, we have to put in a if formula. So let's put in if, and let's click in there. So if B15, so if January, now let's press the F4 twice so we can lock it in because we're gonna drag the formula down. So if January is less than or equal to the end of month date, let's press F4 once to lock it in. So if that is true, then return us an actual in text. If false, return us the plan. So anything from May onwards will be plan, and before that, it'll be actual, as you can see there. So now we can create our get pivot data, and based on this actual or plan detail, it will return us the values from within the pivot table. Press plus or equals and click in the pivot table there next to Americas. It doesn't matter that it's 2012. We can change those values later and we'll get the get pivot data. Now what we're gonna do is we have the actual there in brackets. So the first argument is the data field. So it's taking the data from the actual. But we wanted to reference this cell here. If we press enter, we get a reference. Now I'll show you a trick that will give us the actual data. So it's B16, let's press the and sign and then the, the two parentheses and that means that it'll lock it in as text. You see that? It works. Okay, so we've got the actual there. Now let's go into B16 and press F4 twice so we can lock in the row 16. The second argument is the pivot table and the defaults to A2, it could be anywhere in the pivot table. Let's leave that, that's fine. The sales region is Americas, but let's get rid of this, and then let's reference it in here, and then press F4 three times to lock in the column A. Now the financial year says 2012, but we can actually put in a formula there, and we can say year, and then we can go in there. So we're getting the year from January, which is 2014. And let's press F4 twice to lock in the row 15. And then close brackets. And then sales month, we've got January. Let's get rid of this. And then let's reference it to January. So as I told you before, we're gonna use the month's names in there, in our formula, and here, is where it's gonna help us out. And then press F4 twice to lock in the row. And then press enter. So we get 260,000 
257. So we can see that Jan 2014 actual is 26257. So that's correct. So our formula works. All we're going to do is just drag it across there and then drag it all the way down. And what I've got here are some subtotals. Okay. Now we're going to put in some conditional formatting here. So if it's plan, then it's going to be grayed out. If not, it'll be blank. So let's highlight all the cells there and go to conditional formatting, new rule, and then use a formula to determine which cells to format. Let's put in there an if function. So if B16 and press F4. So if B16 equals plan, then true or else false. So all we're saying is if it's plan, then we're gonna format it in gray. If not, it'll be blank. Let's format and let's just put in a gray color there. Press OK and OK there. So you see that it's graded out. Now let's test to see if this works. So let's say we'll go into our next month and let's put in the 30th of the 6th, 2014. And you're going to see that the, this plan here changes from plan to actual and the values change from the plan. It gives us the actual values for 2014 in June and the conditional format as well gets blanked out. So let's put in there one month ahead and press enter. And you see we get the live change there. Again, let's go two months ahead and that changes accordingly. So you can have a situation where your actual data gets inputted in here and all you need to do is just go to the pivot table, right click, refresh and then the information will get updated accordingly. And when you go into the end of month date, then the values change. So the Get Pivot Data formula gives you some awesome power to create some live reports and you can print this out and send it off to your boss on a monthly basis and you don't have to recreate this each month.